Hi, everybody. My name is Mark Wendell. I'm a product manager at Microsoft. And today is another installment in the series that we're doing to talk a little bit about and introduce SharePoint Embedded. Uh, it's a product that is currently in public preview right now. And today I'm going to go into a little bit on how you can perform office collaboration, file previews, and content discovery. And so with that, we'll get right into it. Um, if you haven't yet, though, come across SharePoint a bit, I'm just going to do a really quick uh, recap of it. Um, the short story here is that it is an API only kind of headless version of SharePoint for your custom application. So it allows you to bring the, the power of M365 file experiences into your custom application. Um, it creates dedicated partitions within your M365 tenant, and you get to bring a whole bunch of features and capabilities right into your app. This is what some of those capabilities are uh, across four different buckets, content, AI, security, collaboration, and core storage. Today, I'm going to deep dive a little bit into the collaboration capabilities. So we'll show you how you can do um, you know, access files with Office, like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, both on desktop and Office for web. You get co-authoring and live presence capabilities at mentioning and more, as well as uh, the ability to preview files. So with that, I'm going to get into it. Um, I've got some slides, and then I'll get into some demos and show you how some of this stuff works. Now, for Office documents, I just want to kind of get into some of the tech on, on how that works. So you write a custom application. It, it's built on top of SharePoint Embedded, um, and you uh, expose content to the end users of your custom application. And one of those types of content are Office documents. Now, you can direct your users to open up those documents in Office for Web or Office Desktop. Now, uh, looking at that first section in Office for Web, doing that is very straightforward. So if um, you interact with that drive item associated with the Office document via Microsoft Graph, you get the web URL property of that drive item, and you can direct your users to that either you know in a new browser tab or new browser window. So that it's pretty straightforward, um, and the experience automatically adapts to read-only access if if that user only has read-only access. Um, you can also have users of your application open up those documents in Office Desktop, and there are two kind of entry points for that. They both kind of do the same thing under the hood. If you if they've already opened up that file uh, within Office for Web then that existing experience that you can see on the right hand side here they can change to open up in desktop and that's an option to them uh, if you'd like to within your custom application direct them to that uh, open that document directly in office for desktop um, you can do that by constructing a client url there's you know the schema of that url we don't need to kind of go go over that in too much detail but um that is documented in our in our learn documentation, and I'll and I'll paste the link to that uh, in the chat as well as there's a there's an AKA AutoMass link at the end of this at the end of this presentation. So pretty straightforward. You get both options. Um, that's Office now for non Office files. Uh, there's a built-in preview client that supports a wide range of file types. Now, all of the, list, the file types that are supported are listed in our documentation as well. Um, but at a high level, you know, it's PDFs, images, videos, and more. So you can, you can render a preview of files directly in your custom application right in your app's web experience. And that preview can be either showing up in an iframe or again, you can open up in a new browser tab or window. Doing that is pretty pretty straightforward, and then you'll see it in the demos a bit later. But you make the graph call again. All of the SharePoint embedded uh, interactions come from you know your app making calls to Microsoft Graph. You can make a call to the existing slash preview endpoint on a drive item. Uh, so you make a post request there. There's the like actual endpoint, and when you do that, you get uh, I think a get or post URL back in the response from that. And you can direct users either to that or uh, make that the href of an iframe. Um, and so pretty straightforward for opening uh, previewing files. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. Now, a couple, couple things I want to just kind of quickly discuss. These are features that are not quite yet available, but they will be soon. 
Um, and one of those, the first of those is controlling content discovery for for content that is stored within SharePoint Embedded. And so uh, the short story here is that your app gets to control whether content from SharePoint Embedded containers shows up in other M365 experiences. And I put a couple of screenshots there on the right just to give you an idea what I'm talking about. Uh, the first is uh, in, in the Office Desktop Word application. You can see you get a bunch of like recommended and shared with me content in there. Um, and then the second is office.com. And so you're probably all familiar with that stuff, but content, you know, within OneDrive and SharePoint is going to show up in there by default. And you can also elect to have your app's content show up in those experiences um, or you can, you can opt out of it. Now, by default, um, that content will not show up. Meaning, you know, when you look at office.com or um, the the home section of, of Office Desktop or Office uh, Online, you're not going to see any of the content showing up in there. Um, and so that's good if you're writing I mean, an app that you really want to lock down and secure. That would that would make it true that like if you block that, uh, your app's content will only be accessible via your app. But if you do decide to enable discovery, you can do that, and then content will show up just like we've shown here. So it's pretty straightforward, but I just wanted to highlight that that application setting that you get to be able to control. The setting is not yet available. Uh, when it is available, it's coming very soon. Uh, you can access it via SharePoint Online PowerShell module to be able to control that setting at the container type level for your application. Similarly, there's a new sharing setting that's coming soon. It'll land around the same time. And for that, your app will be able to control who can share and add permissions to files. So by default, any user with right access to a file can share it to others. Now that user may have been shared that file um, and th that giving them right access to a particular file. And by default, that user will also be able to reshare to other users within the, within the company. Um, but you can enable a new setting called restricted sharing. And so when you do that, you enable restricted sharing. Only users that are part of a container's owner and manager roles can change file permissions. Now, if if those roles don't make any sense to you, I, a couple weeks back, I covered how the permissions work on containers. So maybe you can find that on YouTube and, and check that session out. But uh, the short story there is there are four permission roles on each container that your app can create and manage content within, reader, writer, owner, and manager. And if you enable restricted sharing, only the owner or manager will be able to uh, control the permissions on individual files. And again, that new sharing setting is going to be controlled via the SBO PowerShell module. It's not available yet, but it's coming soon. Okay, so with that, I'm going to get into some demos. Um, you can visit ak.ms slash SBE docs to learn more about the stuff that I just talked about or what you see in these demos. First thing I'm gonna do um, is actually open up Visual Studio Code. Now, a couple weeks ago, I introduced the Visual Studio Code extension um, that we have. So the SharePoint embedded for Visual Studio Code extension allows you to kind of get started quickly uh, with SharePoint embedded. Uh, you can create free container types and and set them up and you know export settings to use with our postman collection and really easily get started with the with the sample application so you can get a get a handle on how all of this works uh, the reason i'm showing you this is i'm going to show you our sample app again uh, if you don't have this running on your local machine you haven't checked it out you can just install the sharepoint embedded for visual studio code extension get it running set up a free container type and then load the sample app once you click that the sample app can load now i already did that i have the sample app running in the background so i'm going to actually hop over into a browser window where i have the sample app running let's see if i can actually show that window there we go hopefully that's showing up and so i've got this app running i visited it's just lo on localhost running on my local machine and i have um you know there's a few containers in here i have this content demo container we looked at it uh we looked at these containers a, a few weeks ago um and in here i've got some files and what i wanted to really just quickly show you is how you know some of these kind of opening office documents and previewing files experiences within here it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's exactly as you'd expect. 
Um, I'm going to click on this PowerPoint document. All that is doing under the hood um, is my, you know, the sample app code directs uh, or opens up a new browser tab to the web URL property of that drive item. Very simple. You can see it loads really quickly and we're using, we're opening up Office Online here and I can, you know, browse and edit and co-author and stuff like that in, in PowerPoint Online. Similarly, you can open up files for um, in Excel. So here's an Excel file. You get full fidelity reading. It's just all of the stuff you come to expect, you know, working with doc office documents in OneDrive and SharePoint, uh, your users will be able to do here. I'll open up this add slogans document. And then same thing, you know, we've got a, a word online file here. The one thing I want to highlight here is just some of the, you know, collaboration and co-authoring capabilities. So in here, um, I have another user that has this document open, Megan Bowen, and actually I can show you what that looks like. So I've got another browser window open with Megan already logged in. So here we go. We're both kind of co-authoring here. I can, you know, on the left side, bold it, you can see we've got everything that you've come to expect, expect with uh, co-authoring and collaboration experiences within the Office clients. Um, and you also have the ability to, you know, at mention folks, so I can at mention Megan, um, and that's going to, you know, send her a notification and stuff like that. So all of that works as you'd expect. And then um, the last thing I'll, I'll share is just, uh, opening up this in Office Desktop, like I showed you. So if you just go like this, you can open up this in Office Desktop. And I happen to be signed in already on, on my local machine to this. So this is going to open up that file in, in Word Desktop. So pretty straightforward there. And again, you get all of that collaborating capability here. Um, so that's that's it for kind of Office. Pretty straightforward and, and you know, it works as you'd expect. Uh, but again, all of that comes from your custom application, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm going to open up this media folder and just show you some of the previewing capabilities that you get. Um, and again, I'm going to show this in this sample app, all of the previews open up in a new browser tab, but you can embed it in an iframe and really kind of embed that within your custom application. Uh, here's a PDF. So that generates a preview link and then it navigates to that new that link in a new browser tab. Here we go. So here's a PDF rendering in full fidelity within your custom application. Uh, you can also render uh, 3D models in there. Again, I mentioned like it supports many different file types, so we can like browse around 3D models, and there's a whole bunch of file types that support it. So pretty cool if if you have a custom application that works with that type of content, you can embed it directly in your custom app. Um, also, streaming video. Um, which is pretty cool. So all the transcoding and streaming is just taken care of for you. So here I'm streaming a video directly from my SharePoint embedded container, and and it just it just works. You can embed this client directly in your application um, and have video in it as well. And then images, of course. So I'll open up this image, and then um, that's kind of mainly it for the demos. But. Mm -hmm.